G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. This is a fantastic candy recipe to make. Literally takes a few minutes to prepare. Then you let it set for a week and you have a delicious candy on a stick. So join me today as I make my version of rock candy on a stick. Now to start this off, we just need some water and some bamboo skewers. So basically, we're just going to place the skewers into our water and we're just going to let them soak away for about, say, 10 minutes just to dampen them up. Okay, so with our bamboo skewers thoroughly soaked, I just have some sugar on a plate. All we have to do is just dip our skewers and coat them in the sugar. So basically what this is doing is acting like the seed for our crystals. Okay, so now that our bamboo skewers are ready, next I have a pot on the stove on a medium heat. And to that I'm just going to pour in one cup of water. Next I have two and a half cups of sugar. So we're just going to pour in, say about a quarter at a time. And we're just going to give it a good stir. And just keep on stirring until it's dissolved. Then once dissolved I'm going to add in another quarter. Let it dissolve and so forth until we've used up all the sugar. Now the sugar is completely dissolved and it has just started to come up to a boil. So at this point, take it straight off the heat. Okay, so as you can see, it is nice and thick. Nice thick sugar water. That's exactly how you want it. So next we're going to add some food coloring. Any color will do, it's completely up to you. But you want it to be nice and vibrant. So for this one, I'm going to add, say about a tablespoon of blue food coloring. And you can flavor it up with any flavor that you like. There are so many flavors out there, you can really choose anything you like. But for this one, I'm just going to use some rose water and just give it a good mix through and for now that's all you have to do what i want you to do now is just leave this for about half an hour to an hour you want it to completely cool down if we start soaking our skewer in it straight away it's actually going to dissolve the sugar crystals and that's the last thing we want as i said those are the seed crystals so if you dissolve the seeds that were placed on the skewer it just simply won't work so this needs to be completely cooled down that way it's not going to dissolve our sugar crystals. So those crystals can then go on and form larger crystals and create our lovely rock candy. So I've made up four colors in total and I've just poured them into some mason jars. So I've made up green, red, yellow and blue. So all you have to do now is just grab one of your skewers with the sugar crystals on and we're just going to carefully place it into our cool down mixture. And we want to keep it in place, we want to keep it in the center, so I'm just going to use a couple of pegs just to keep it centered. Okay, so it's all set up. Now this is going to take about a week. Yeah, it's going to take a while, but the results are worth it. So leave it on a windowsill or just someplace out of the way. You can look at it, but don't touch them. So over the week, the sugar is going to attach itself to those crystals and grow larger sugar crystals. And they'll be nice and colorful and full of flavor depending on the flavor that you use. So I'm going to leave them for a good seven days and then we're going to have some fantastic rock candy on a stick. Okay, so I've had them soaking for just over a week now. Now if you look closely, you can see the crystals have formed on the inside. And you would have got a hard layer forming on the top, the part that was exposed to the air. So just simply, just break that on top and just carefully pull out our crystals. Look at those, they're formed. Lovely, haven't they? So just stick them someplace, say, up, hanging up or hanging down, it's up to you. Just to give them a chance to dry off and just look at how good they've shown up now. They look fantastic, don't they? Okay, so I've let them dry off for about an hour or so and look at those. Don't they just look absolutely delicious? And dare I say, kind of pretty. The crystals have formed perfectly. So yeah, it's definitely one of the slowest recipes I've ever made. But honestly, it's more about the fun of actually making it and watching them grow. So it literally only takes a few minutes to prepare and about a week of doing nothing and watching. So it's a great little project to do with a kid or a great little treat for a party coming up. Just make sure you do it a week in advance, of course. Now, whether you're a child or an adult alike, either way, when you get stuck into one of these rock candies, they're going to taste simply delish. And do me a huge favor, make them up and put a photo on your Instagram and hashtag Todd's Kitchen. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Home Handy Hints channel. 
And please do me a massive favour by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.